Every year of 2K, I take somebody under my wing from a random, from a nobody, from nothing, and I make them known. I make them somebody. In 2K16, it was sports. In 2K17, it was Vandy. And in 2K18, it was Wade. And every time the result is the same, they take their clout and they leave. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Spose time. Now, before I do get to the truth in the main part of this video, I do want to start out with some positive news because that's what my channel is all about positivity and fun. Not all the negative stuff, not all the extra stuff that goes in, positivity and fun. So I do want to say that I don't want you guys to think any of this video is me attacking DF or anyone in DF. I believe in my boys in DF, I believe in DF, and I'm going to stick with them because I am dedicated forever. When I said that, I meant it. It wasn't just a word, it wasn't just a phrase, it's something I actually meant. Now, I do want to announce some new recruits that I don't know if you guys follow Twitter, you guys seen us announcing a lot of new recruits, but here's some two that you may know. And DF is looking up. We're, we're taking over regardless. We're on top regardless. Simply grinding. If you guys know Simply Grind, you guys might may watch him. He's now grinding DF. You guys know my man Bandit Gang. He's now Bandit DF. I just wanted to give him a big shout out for joining the squad, bro. And welcome to the DF. And my boy Breezy, of course, still sticking with me. Now, let me get to the main part. Let me get to the truth. If you guys have not heard, if nobody told you, if, <laughs> if it hasn't been heard yet, Wade... One of our um, people that helped us found DF, one of the founding leaders, has left DF. And I'm just going to make this one video talking about it. Setting the fat straight and letting the truth talk for itself. And I'm not going to address it again. I'm not going to really talk about it again. So I'm going to refer people back to this video. Now, I do want to start from the beginning of when we even tried to make DF. I'm going to be honest. After I ended HG and I saw people weren't really committed, people weren't dedicated to a clan like I wanted to, I, didn't, I wasn't really... Thrilled. I didn't really want to make a new plan. But Wade convinced me. Wade literally begged me to make DF. He told me. I told him that he should probably make his own clan. That I didn't know if I really wanted to lead a clan. Because that's a lot of effort. That's a lot of work to lead people. And people just expect you to do everything for them. They expect you to have time to do that. Lead the whole clan to do everything in the clan. A leadership, leading the clan is actually a lot of work. But he literally told me I was the only one that could lead the clan. I was the best person to lead the clan. And then he went out and recruited people. He told people he was committed. He got people to change their gamer tags and spend money on that. He told people to join DF. And then after two weeks, two weeks, just two weeks, DF has been around for two weeks. He gave up. He gave up on everybody in the clan. He gave up on the underrated people. So... I'm gonna get straight to the point. Everybody's probably wondering why did he suddenly leave? He he started the clan, it was his idea, he wanted to make DF. Why he just suddenly give up? Now he decided after all this, after we went through and recruiting people, after he personally recruited half of the roster, that he didn't like the roster, that he didn't like the people in there. He said that he wanted to he even sent me a message, I'm gonna put it on the screen for you guys to see. That we need YouTubers. That we need more big YouTubers in the clan. And I told him. Wait, we don't need big YouTubers. What we need is grinders. We need dedicated people. It's not about the sub count, but it's about the effort you put in. It's about the grinders, because those are the people that are truly going to succeed. And I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of sad because he... <laughs> I'm kind of sad that he left this way because he didn't just betray me. I'm not sad about that part. It's because he betrayed the people that were just like him before he met me. Before he met me, he was just like these underrated people that he won't give a chance that he doesn't want to recruit that's because they don't have a 95 to percent because they aren't already known he was in clans like the only directly and primary he hopped from clan to clan he was in these unknown clans and nobody believed in him and gave him a chance and now he's gotten so cocky he's gotten so absorbed he's gotten so arrogant that he thinks he's better than the people that are just like him better than the underrated people that he was just like a couple months ago before he met me and i'm gonna i'm gonna speak the honest truth because I know all of Wade's fans are my fans. Everybody that watches Wade's videos are watching this video right now. He doesn't care about you guys. He doesn't even appreciate you guys. <laughs> he doesn't, bro. He doesn't. And if I had to make a choice 
and I did. I'm, I'm gonna get into the exact details, but when I had to make a choice between the underrated and the known people, I chose the underrated again and again and again. So the whole thing Wade said after he left, and he said he's gonna make a new clan or whatever, and basically he said he's only gonna recruit skilled comp people. And that's a funny word because I know YouTube, I know skill sounds good. Oh, we're gonna recruit skilled people. It sounds kind of cool. Of course, you're gonna recruit good people, but that's a code word. When these YouTubers say we're gonna recruit skilled people, this is what here's this is the people they call skill. You guys know it's true. You guys seen it happen. You're only skilled to them if you have above a 90% win percentage, or you're known already because you're and you have friends that are already known. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to give anyone else a chance and they think you're not skilled. I know people in watching this video, you're just as good as people with a higher win percentage, but you don't have the right people to play with. You don't have all the people to run with. And you're just as skilled as the other people, but they don't want to give you a shot. They think they're too good for you. And I don't understand that. I don't understand how the YouTubers, I don't understand how Wade of all people who could think he was too good for these people. You literally created the clan, you literally recruited people to dip out in two weeks because because you didn't have enough known people you wanted. Frankly, you can't be trusted. And I, what happened, especially the lead up him leaving, is what happens right here. I told him he kept complaining. He's like, I don't like this clan. We need, he kept talking about how we need to recruit YouTubers, how we need to recruit known people, how we need to recruit these so-called comp stage players or something like that. And I told him, why don't we stop repeating what other clans did? Why don't we stop recruiting the same people over and over again? Why don't we give the underrated people a chance? And I told him, if he's gonna, if he doesn't want to do anything to fix the clan, because he would sit there and he would do nothing, but then he would complain about the clan. I told him, if he didn't want to do anything in the clan, if he didn't want to try to improve the clan, I'm tired of people complaining. Everybody should have the same dedication I do to get the clan better. If you don't care, then leave the clan. We need people in the clan that care. It's the same thing that happened to HG. I messaged him. I literally messaged him right now. You guys can see it on the screen. I said, if you don't care, then I said, you need to leave the clan. And then he just left the clan. And then he got he got so mad that he actually tried to disrupt our clan. He blocked Easy Breezy out of the chat. He blocked Breezy. You can ask Breezy. He And it's on the screen. He blocked Easy Breezy. If you guys know a Twitter chat, you block them, then they automatically leave the chat. He blocked Breezy out of the chat. And that just shows how much of an immature idiot that Wade actually is. Like he couldn't even leave and handle himself the normal way. He actually had to block people out of the chat to try to cause disruption to try to ruin DF. But I'm gonna be honest. None of this really matters in the long run. None of this is gonna affect DF and none of this is gonna affect my belief in anybody in the clan. Because the same thing that happened to Vandy is gonna happen to Wade. Because if he doesn't have the dedication, if he doesn't have the guy to do it on himself, you can't expect handouts. You can't expect somebody to just keep giving you subs all the way and just keep going you have to do it yourself you have to guide yourself and Wade just wanted to be in a clan with known people so he could feed off them and he didn't want to give any of the underrated people a chance because he didn't want to help anybody else he only thought about himself and I'm not like that I'm never gonna turn my back on you guys I'm never gonna turn my back on people that are underrated that don't have a chance just because you guys may have a little bit lower record that doesn't mean you're less skilled I'm never gonna give up I promise you, and it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter if nobody believes in that, if you don't believe in that, then we can find somebody else that does. So I hope you guys, I hope this guys wasn't a too long explanation, I kind of went on a little bit longer than I expected, but I want to thank everybody that came to the end of this video. And I want to thank everyone who supports me every time. I know it's been like a week since I uploaded, but I'm going to be uploading more often, I've just been very busy with school and everything. but. If you made it this far, make sure you comment. If you want to be the new way, if you would be somebody that would take appreciation of what they actually got rather than not appreciating at all, think you're better than people you were just like a couple months ago. If you want to be somebody that would actually take advantage and appreciate it, comment below. Let me know. Let me know. And we're looking to recruit a lot of new people to DF. Like if you want to join, let me know. And we're moving on. We're moving on from this situation. We're moving on from Wade, and that's gonna be my final video about the topic. And I appreciate you guys. I'm out. You haters, high haters. This is my world, so it's all in my favor. I like all girls, yeah, all type of flavors. But that don't matter, cause I just got my baby. Sight, but I'm right there, Mercedes. Oh, I don't wanna like the baby. For that girl to the sun, done number one, like I.